Happy New Year to you all. It's now January, which of course means only one thing, namely it's awards season in which the big studios are releasing a whole slew of important films into multiplexes in the hope of winning some gongs. First out of the traps is The Reader, starring Rafe Fiennes and Kate Winslet. Is it any good? Very much so. Will Kate Winslet finally win that golden statuette? Possibly. Have a look at the trailer. What if you discovered... I've never told anyone. ...that the person you loved... She liked being read to had done something in their past. You were picking women out and saying, you and you and you have to be killed. No. That you could not forgive. What are you doing? I'm writing a poem about you. The film hesitates to signal any easy judgment about anyone in it. In the end, it's a very humane piece. It's a really beautiful, very pure lo uh, love story, and uh, it is it is truly moving. I mean, people need to interpret the movie in their own in their own way, and I think and I hope people do. I think it's a very complicated story. My version of it might not be other people's version of it, but of course it is. In the telling, in the telling is the release. In the telling is the importance. In the telling is the is the understanding. <laughs> Off in 50s Berlin, Winslet plays a German bus conductor called Hannah, who one summer begins a torrid affair with an 18-year-old schoolboy called Michael, a fling with life-changing consequences for both. It's up to Ray Fiennes, one of our finest actors, to play the grown-up Michael as he comes to terms with the affair. Now, this is a class act and a film about unrequited love that all really pulls the heartstrings. Will it win Oscars? I don't know, although it certainly deserves to. Uh, we're giving it a very, very solid four out of five.